Hello, welcome to Cat Studio. I just want to have a little show and tell today, and well, I'm going to show you how to put tags on your rope baskets in the end. So I just want to share with you my rope baskets, what I've been working on. And, you know, it's been a trial and error type thing, setting up the sewing machine and getting your tension right and all that jazz. So once I get my sewing machine situated, I will be showing you how to make these very easy to make these rope baskets. Um, this is one of my first ones that I made and it's about uh, uh, eight inches um, wide at the base. I don't know how tall, probably six. These are like three and four inch baskets here. And this one is was an experiment the other day of wrapping. This is a, what I call it is a rag rope uh, basket. And I think this turned out really beautiful. I just adore this. I don't know if you can really get a good look at that fabric, but it, it's beautiful. The sewing is probably not the best because my needle was bad that day. I, I was trying to figure out what was going on here and, and I took everything apart and cleaned it and found out there's a burr on the end of my needle. <laughs> Doesn't make sewing uh, uh, come out very nicely. So, but in any case, cute basket. And I put my tag on here, it says KS Studio. And get these from a supplier online. Oops, sorry. Very cute basket there. And then this little one, this little baby basket. I mean, these baskets here, this size, about three inches deep, great for um, gift baskets, you know, putting in some fun baby items or potpourri candles and things like that. Just wrap it up and you're good to go. It takes a little bit of time to make that particular one. This one here is pretty quick. Um, and this one was a five inch base. And this one's a little bit more of a challenge to do. And you'll see when once we start making baskets, why I say that about this one. <laughs> um, so in any case, the tag on that one too. And I have a different tag on this basket here. It's a handmade uh, tag just with a piece of leather and I poke holes in it with this uh, leather tool, which worked out really well. And I can show you how to put this tag on and this, this tag today. I think we're gonna do that first. And here's our basket. And this is was a five inch base that I you know, started um, kind of bring, trying to bring the sides up so that they're straighter. And I don't know if you can tell, but that side is starting to go straight right about in this area. So if you went higher, even, it'd be even look straighter. So let's put this tag on. So what I do is I fold it so that the two holes, one on either side match up, and I just slip it over the basket like so. And I, you see, I haven't trimmed that off yet. Um, and then I take my little um, screwdriver and put my little one and poke a hole through from this side right through back and go right into that hole there. As you can see like that. And we're going to use what's called a Chicago screw. It looks like a rivet on one side and then you put a screw in on the, on the back side. So what we do is take that out and then you can see where that hole is, right? So I go in with a bigger screwdriver and kind of work that in. And hopefully I'm not tearing my um, thread too much. And then I go in and feed this through there just to make sure I can get in there and I can. So then I go with this Make sure I can get it in there too, because their holes are a little bit smaller than uh, what this is, but it, they do fit. It just squishes in there. It's pretty easy. So then we just go and push that into that hole. And what size is this one? I don't know. Whatever one fits. <laughs> it comes in a case like this and you get all different sizes of the rivet ends and then one I believe there's only one size of screw that goes to it 
So this really does has, have to fit well. So what I do is I go and trim that down to the end here, right there, maybe a little uh, shorter than that on an angle. And then I take a little bit of hot glue. You could go back and sew this down if you wanted to, but since I'm here with the hot glue gun, I'm just gonna glue that down. A little bit on that edge there so we don't get any fraying later. I kind of swoosh it in there with my gun, my glue, the tip of my glue gun. And then I just fold it over and I do pop a little bit of hot glue right here just to, because it can wiggle. This tag, once you get it on, it can still wiggle around. Put it over that, the end of that uh, rivet piece right there. And hopefully I can get that in. Okay, and so now it's in there like so, and just put your screw in there and you're all set. So hold one side with your thumb while you're screwing that in, and there you go. And it's all in there nice and tight. So how cute does that look? I mean, honestly, I love it. And just re-round out your basket because, you know, they're handmade. They get squished up. How pretty. Isn't that beautiful? There, make sure it's straight. All right, let's do the other type of tag that is probably a little bit easier for you. And I'm just going to put a piece of leather on. I don't think I have... Okay, I have a... a this one here is probably, I don't know what those measure, but this one I think is three inches. Let me check that for you. It's about three inches. And the ends of the other one, you can see the, oops, sorry, are rounded. If you wanted to do that, you could go ahead and round off the corners, but we're not gonna do that today. My doggie is barking at the kitty out there in the front yard. <laughs> so what we we'll do the same thing. We're going to line those holes up with each other, which I have a smaller thing here. Make sure they're lined up when you put this on. So I just put a little fold in that so that when I put it on, it's pretty close to where we need it to be. So then we go ahead and take a, a needle, a big needle, and some embroidery floss. And mine just so happens to match the basket. You could match the leather if you wanted to, if you're putting on maybe a navy blue. You could, whoops, that's the wrong needle. We need, that's a sewing machine needle. This is a, I don't know what this is, like a darning needle, I'm not sure but it's fat, it's very fat needle. It's not sharp on the ends either. So then we just take that and I don't cut it yet. We're gonna start in the back and I am gonna cut this. Let's see, let's do that now. And so I usually do a little bit of a fancy stitch at the end and that didn't seem to turn out very well. So <laughs> we're gonna try and hide that. So I'm gonna cut it right about there which is very close to the end. On an angle again. And then I'm gonna glue that. And you can finish the, your baskets, you know, in, in various uh, ways. I just wanted to show you how to put tags on it. That's just something you wanted to try. And this is just a piece of leather. I think it's a one point something millimeter thickness or a two millimeter, I'm not sure. I can check on that. Um, so it does cut very easily with a rotary cutter on your um, your cutting mat. Okay, and I'll just pop a little glue on top here. Well, I don't want to do that yet. I want to make sure we're going to grab both of these. Let's put it where we want it. 
so that the end isn't showing much. Just like that, we'll go on to this side in the back and go through this hole. Kind of guesstimate where you're going through uh, and right through the front. Pull that through a little bit. We don't need a lot. We can fix that in a minute. So once we get that where we want it, we're going to go, make sure it's in there where you want it, go through this hole to the back. And we're on, just trying to go in the same area that we are in for this hole as well. So we're about, the, I don't know, the fourth row down-ish. So it'll be straight. Pull that through. All right, so once we pull that through, let's go ahead and pull it back from the longest end that we haven't cut yet because we don't need a ton. We only need enough to make a knot. So about right there, I'm gonna cut that. Because we're done, almost done sewing, we're gonna go here. We're gonna take that piece out, take that piece out, Put this only through the hole, not the whole uh, basket. Pull that through like so. And then take those two pieces, tighten them up a little bit. And then I'm just going to pop some hot glue there before we tie our knot. Just to hold this in place a little bit. Go back over that, push it down, hold it for a second. Make sure none of your hot glue is showing. Okay, so now you have your two pieces in the back, your two pieces of thread in the back right here. They're underneath. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna double wrap. We're gonna do a surgeon's knot. So we're gonna go once, twice. And then when we pull that, let's see if we can get a closer view of that. So let me redo that for you. One, two. So when we pull this tight, in the, it will land up in the back of your tag. It will not have a knot on the front. And then double tie again, wrap, wrap, and pull and make sure it goes behind and then you just trim off your thread and you're all set. And you could throw some hot glue in there if you wanted to. I don't usually do that, but I think for sake of ease, easiness and, you know, easy to get supplies. Okay, so you got to see all the cool baskets that I've been working on and we're gonna have a tutorial on how to make the regular basket and a, a rag rope basket. We're gonna try that one on camera. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, so I hope, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned how to, you know, do your tags and you try it yourself and, uh, give me a thumbs up, leave some comments for me in the comment section. Love to hear all your comments, whatever you have to say or questions you have. I'd be glad to help you out. Thumbs up, subscribe, and share this out with your friends. Y'all have a great day, and we'll be making rope baskets in our next video. So I'll see you then.